Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Bailey James. Hi, How are you? I'm good. Is this your first CMA Fest? This is my second. Your but second. This is my first CMA Fest, like living here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. Oh, bi the big PA. I love it. <laughs> I love PA. Oh my gosh. What was your favorite part of PA? The people and the Eagles fans. The Eagles fans. Okay. Yes. <laughs> See, I'm I'm a Steelers fan now, but I have to say because I'm in a Steelers household, but I, when I first started out, I, you know, I was not a sports girl at all, and I was an Eagles fan when I <laughs> yeah. first started out, so um, that, that's great. I think a lot of our artists, we've actually, you're our second one today, or you're our second one that's been an Eagles fan, so that's, well, hello. Woo -hoo. Yeah, woo. Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, it's all about the Predators, right? Yeah. Everybody's here for the Predators, which is great, but so, so what's your favorite part about CMA Fest? My favorite part about CMA Fest is the fans. They're so mm -hmm. fun, mm -hmm. and you meet so many different ones that you you know you can't meet over social media right like properly <laughs> right and exactly so, i love the fans and the food oh my gosh is that not great <laughs> have you guys been in the vendor area yet either like just yes. shopping yes is it ridiculous for you because it's i went in there amazing. and i got hammered i i went in there not hammered hammered not drunk hammered no no i got like trapped with you know i found this really cute boutique and they were like well we don't have a website we're not local if you like it, you need to buy it now. And I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. So I got suckered. I got suckered. Hopefully you don't get suckered too bad like I did. I hope I don't. I got this <laughs> I got this skirt yesterday, and I already have so many clothes. Right? I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> oh, see, you got you and I can't, like, go hang out unsupervised then because we, yeah. will, we will destroy some. We will make some damage happen. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, being that we're here for CMA Fest, let's talk about your music. So. I have a new single coming out called Run Girl, and that's just kind of about chasing your dreams, not letting anyone get in your way, because my peers at my old school were very mean about my music, mm. yeah, but yeah. I was like, you know, it's okay, and yeah. I'm going to be fine, and they're nicer now, you know, it's right. just we're all immature, so we're all mean to each other, right. but um, uh, I have a new single coming out called Run Girl, <laughs> about chasing your dreams, and the video came out two days ago. It's right. on YouTube, Very and cool. I'm running on a treadmill. Oh, wow. Okay. I've fallen off of one before, so that was oh. a little risque. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, it's, just, it's just showing who I am, and, you know, I'm super goofy. So I love that. See, <laughs> another one of my people, goofy. I love goofy. Now, I will tell you, however, um, I would never let a video camera tape me while I'm on, on a treadmill. That's just not, uh, it's just you know not going to. First of all, I'm not even going to get on a treadmill. I mean, we went to the mall and we got workout clothes mm -hmm. that were good for that. <laughs> oh, they make those? Yeah. They keep you from like jiggling and stuff? Yes, everything oh, was. Not that you have a problem, but yes, my thunder would roll <laughs> like you just don't even know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not graceful at all, but somehow I was like, ha, da, 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 da. Oh like I'm gosh. clomping on a treadmill. You can hear my foot like hitting the ground <laughs> each great. time. That's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, have a, Whose idea was it for the, for the video? my well my producer and i was like are you sure about this like i do not know if i can run and he's like we're only gonna get, put it on 30 and i'm like that's a lot <laughs> you're, you're like yeah no can we put it on 10. yeah like, <laughs> i'd be like two and a half <laughs> just just saying no but and he made me do a brisk run before i'm like a brisk run i'm sweating i'm <laughs> nasty i have makeup on yeah. You're like, it's melting off of me. I cannot yeah. do this anymore. I would have pitched the biggest fit. I, that would have been my diva moment. If I ever had one, it would have been to not get on that damn treadmill. Uh, well, my mom was like, just suck it up, Bailey. Suck right? it up. You got to do it. And you know what? Part of working hard, and, I, and I'm glad your mom told you that, because, you know, you're in this business. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you know, you're working hard on your career and getting to the next level. And if, if it takes, you know, following your producer's advice and getting on that treadmill at, you know, 30, um, then you do it, and good for you for doing that. I mean, there's been that. lots of instances where I'm like, I don't know if I can do this, but I did it. <laughs> you did, and look at you, and you're awesome, and you're here. And so what do you have going on while you're here at CMA Fest? I have two booths. I just did one. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of interviews, and um, I'm performing at the Wild Horse Saloon. Oh, my gosh. Have you performed at the Wild Horse before? Yes. Okay. And it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's basically it's one of the most iconic places in town, right? It's and, amazing. And they have Bath and Body Works in the bathroom. Yes, they do. Like they, 
that's bougie. <laughs> it is. That's funny. Oh my gosh. Um, no, you, the, I love it there. The girls there, Jen and Jill, yes. they're they're amazing. We love them so much. We love the Wild Horse. They really do take care of their artists. We know you're gonna have a lot of fun there. Yeah. And, <laughs> I mean. You know, I, I joke about this all the time, but it's one of the coolest things ever to see the amount of horses they have inside yes. of that venue. And there is three floors? Three? Yeah, there's three floors and it holds like 3,000 people. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. And you know, Ty Herndon just did his big event there last night. I did not even know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he did a big, huge event there last night. I don't know night. how I'm going to go after that. You what see, the you got to. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that that's the thing. The Wild Horse brings amazing talent to the stage. It does. So you need to sit back and realize, like, I'm doing something right because I'm here at the Wild Horse. <laughs> you know, no, I, I'm dead serious and credit to those girls. They know talent. And so you need to feel really good about that. And and I love that you're there. And I, I can't wait to I can't wait to talk to them about you and, and your performance and how you do and yeah. all that stuff. I think it's going to be great. But is there anything else you want to tell fans before we go? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for supporting me from day one. Love y'all. Uh, well, you heard her. Follow her on social media. We're going to give you guys all the links. No excuses. Click them, share them with your friends. And until next time, guys, stay tuned.